Hello, today I'll be taking you through the service module within Agile CRM. To access the service module, click on your center button and click on the service. This will take you to the service module to your dashboard. Here is your dashboard and these are dashlets. To add a new dashlet, click on the add dashlet button Select your category from the lists and click on Add and you've now just added a new dashlet. To access your Help Desk section, click on the Help Desk icon. This will show you the Help Desk overview that shows you your tickets, your assignees and groups, labels and created dates, status of tickets, and your types of tickets. To view a ticket, simply click on it, and it will now open up and show you the details of the ticket. You can also have tags and labels, and you can also include a carbon copy email to a customer or other support technicians. You can set your due date, by simply clicking on our quick buttons and you can change the status by using the drop down. You can set the problem type as a question, a task, or an incident or using your priority options from the drop down. Click on your help desk icon again and it will take you back to your list view where you'll get an overview of the number of new tickets, the number of open tickets, and the number of pending tickets. Click on the refresh button to refresh your view. Use the drop down options to sort your tickets based on cre created time, priority, due date, requester, or descending or ascending order. Use the drop down next to the pending to select different categories of tickets. Once it populates, you'll be able to see all of the different tickets based on the drop down. Click on your three bars to select different fields that will appear within your ticket columns. Click on the ticket and you can work the ticket right from here with timestamps. You can even include workflows. You can merge your tickets, add it as a favorite, mark a ticket as private, Mark a ticket as spam, delete a ticket, or even close a ticket by using the quick buttons at the top. You can also toggle your widgets on and off by using the toggle widgets buttons. This will give you more viewable space to work with a ticket. Select canned responses by using the canned responses drop down, and it will pre populate your response and then you can send right from within the ticket and move on. Again, to change your ticket view, simply click on your ticket's drop down or refresh. Agile CRM has a knowledge base feature built into our service module. To access the knowledge base, click on the knowledge base icon and this will re allow you to view all of the categories within your knowledge base. Remember, we have categories, sections, and then articles. These are your categories. You can add a new category by clicking on Add Category, giving it a name, putting a description in. If you do not want it published to your website, mark it as private, and it will not be published until you unmark it as private. Let's take a deeper look.
click on the category name, and now you have your different sections. Under your sections, you have your articles lists. To add a new article, click on Add Article, give it a title, and begin entering your information for your knowledge base article down below. You can copy and paste existing articles or completely type a brand new one right here. You can then select which section you would like for this article to appear under by using the drop down option. Click on your Save Changes button. You can click on your Home button to take you back to the categories. To delete a category, simply click on it and select Delete. You can also reorder your categories by using the cross button and clicking and dragging your different options to where you'd like it to be. To view live chat, click on the live chat icon on the left hand side. If you have live chats that are recorded, they will all show up here in the list and use the drop down option to select the different groups and their live chats that have been recorded. You can also select your date ranges by using the date range drop down where we have predefined date ranges and you can even set custom date ranges as well. To set your feedback options, click on the feedback icon and this will report all of your feedback based on the help desk tickets. The feedback is provided from end users by either giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down and that is contained on an email that they receive and it gives them the option when enabled. Again, use your drop down options to look at the feedback and sort it based on groups, the type of feedback, and even date ranges. To click on your groups, this is where you will set your different groups and assign groups to groups within the service module. To delete any group, simply select the group and click on the delete button. To add a new group, click on add group. Give it a name and select who you'd like to have as part of that group. You can even have a send as email address listed there as well and select any email templates that you have saved. Either select or deselect the enable feedback option and click on your saving. Click on your labels to add different labels for the different types of help desk tickets that are received within Agile CRM. Again, you can select all or one or more labels and delete them. To add a new label, click on the Add Label button. Type in a label name and click on your Save Changes. Automations are a great way to save time within Agile CRM and we have many built-in automations with our service module. To use any one of these automations simply click on the Go button and it will pre-populate all the information that is needed. On the left hand side you can add nodes to your canvas. You can also name your automation and select what will happen the triggering event. To set up your canned responses click on the canned responses icon on the left hand side. Again you can either select or deselect individual canned responses and deal with them. 
with using the delete button or simply click on it to edit to add a new canned response click on the add canned response give it a title add a message and you can even add a label and mark it as public if the canned response is marked as public all users will be able to use that canned response To see your views, click on your views icon on the left hand side. This will now allow you to set up the different views to sort and organize your tickets for easy working and editing. If you'd like to create a new view, click on add view. Give it a name. Select your conditions and your groups. Click on your Save Changes button, and that will take you back to your main view. The Activities button can be accessed by clicking on the Activities icon. The activities default to the users within Agile CRM and are listed here. If you'd like to see the Contact Activities, click on the Contact Activities button and it will change your view for all the activities of contacts within Agile CRM. You can sort and organize the activities by using the drop-down list and selecting the option which you would like to see. To go back to your user activities, click on the user activities buttons. You can then select your date ranges by clicking on the dates by users or by activities and selecting from the drop-down options. To access your reports, click on the reports icon on the lower left hand side. These are all your reports where you can break it out by tickets and then select your options by groups, by duration, by status, and even by date ranges. You can select different types of reports for live chat, knowledge base, automations, activities, and even have reports emailed to you at a specific duration. Simply click on the option, click on add report, Give it a name, select the activity type, the users you would like to include, who's going to receive the report, and the frequency. To access advanced options, click on the advanced button and set your time zone and when you would like the reports to be emailed. Click on your Save button, and this will take you back to your Activity Reports email options. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, please feel free to reach out to Agile Support at agilecrm.com forward slash support.